What's up you guys, FSC Trucking. I'm over here in Russell, Illinois, over at the Loves. I stopped for lunch and uh, decided to pull in here because they got my salads and egg cups like I like. Usually what I do is I chop up a, an egg cup, I put, um, put them in a salad, put some dressing on and eat it up, it's pretty good. It doesn't overfill me and it lasts a good while, so in my effort to lose weight. By the way, down like 12 pounds, so that's good too. So anyway, I'm not the star of the show, Orwell is. Who's Orwell? Well, you guys new to the channel might not know. Orwell is my 1984 Peterbilt 362 cab over. Yeah, that's right. I got a 1984 truck running in today's 2022 roads. Caterpillar 3406B powered. It's a 7FB variant, 13-speed transmission. We loaded up in the last video. We got this Putzmeister concrete pump. Funny thing was I found out Sani now owns Putzmeister, you know, the, uh, the heavy equipment company. I also found out I never knew where they were from. Apparently, they're Chinese. Is that true? Don't know. All right, so that's the truck. Here's the load right there. See, Sandy, supported by Putzmeister. Now, is it Putzmeister or Putzmeister? How do you guys say that? I know you guys would know. I know I have an international viewership on this channel, so somebody could probably tell me how to properly pronounce that. And is it Sandy or Sandy? I don't know. I see it on Heavy D all the time, so I just basically copy how he says it. I would know they sponsor him, not me. Hey guys, nah, just kidding. Anyway, so that's the load we got. They put it on with like one of those overhead cranes like they lift boats on and off with. So, you know, that way it can independently lift the front from the back, it shifts side to side. You drive over the truck, off the back, either way. It's a pretty cool video, hope you guys watch it. Naturally, this is the first load since I moved into the new shop. Sadly, I didn't really set it up much. I had to do some trailer wiring before we left though. Dunin XL Specialized, they kind of have this weird way they like to make 8 billion connectors on these things. So I deleted a bunch of the connectors. Basically I made my own wiring harness. It's a lot cheaper that way. Plus it probably lasts longer. Uh, the harnesses don't go bad, it's the connectors that go bad. So I don't know, we'll see. Either way, I was able to do that at the new shop. Some growing pains at the new shop, we'll get that figured out. Everything having to do with power. So anyway, here's the Putzmeister concrete pump. What this concrete pump does, most people know this probably, some don't, is this will actually get bolted onto a truck body. And in the, this is where the cab would be, this area here where that boom comes up. And it's a big, long snake trail of hose, of piping, I should say, and arms that hydraulically work. So what they do is, imagine I'm sitting on a truck. And these are big outriggers that swing outward. See the hinge right there behind me? They'll swing out all the way to where I'm standing to stabilize the truck, you know, so it's just a tip one way or the other. So like that's the truck, it'll spread the outrigger so it don't tip. Anyway, so a cement truck, you know, with the actual cement, will come over here and dump its cement in this bin. And then what it does, it pumps it through here and up through there and zigzags all the way up through until it comes out the end boom, which uh, I don't know where the heck that is, but somewhere up there. These things can reach incredible distances up and away, which is pretty awesome if you've ever seen that stuff. So with that, that's what that is. Now I'm taking this to the port of Miami. What, I'm going to Miami? Yeah, getting tired of going to Baltimore all the time, man, that's old. Who wants to see that? Again and again and again. It's a different thing anyway. Also, I forgot to mention, tomorrow, but well, you probably may have already seen the video, but tomorrow, we're gonna stop at Sweetwater, Tennessee. We're gonna do another collab with Gentry and Sons Trucking YouTube channel down there. So. Tim's only seen Orwell once, but never seen him running other than when I started it real quick. So with that, we're gonna go down there, show off Orwell, see what else goes on down that way. So uh, they never know with that crew down there, Jesus. All right, so with that, I'm already fat and full, got the log book done, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna fire Orwell up and get on out of here. We'll take a look at the concrete pump on the other side. Yeah, they're very proud that they bought these things. Hey, Sandy. Supported by Putzmeister. Alrighty boys and girls, we got the GoPro set up. Sorry about that, got all three GoPro set up. Now 
Now we are ready to ride. Let's hit the road, shall we? Let's get the show on the road. Hit this brake knob. You guys go hit that like and subscribe button. You say it helps a lot. Kill the high idle. Seriously, you hit that subscribe, you hit that like button. Come on, get at it. We're not going till you do. I'm not moving this truck till you do. In reality, I'm waiting for paper transport to find a spark of fun. Seriously, you better hit it. We ain't moving. Really? No place to park. I mean, you pull forward when you get fuel. You don't pull forward when you get your scale ticket. You pull around, then you pull through the fuel island, grab your scale ticket, and roll. I did just swerve off that way, but I know the trailer bottom and drag so positive in the day to day. Some people really try my patience though.
Freightliner right there. Really nice looking truck too. beauty right there. Ha <laughs> ha! Looking freightliner right there. I like the way it was done up. He didn't have like a lot of bunch of bolt-on stuff on her other than the big drop visor he had. It looked good. It looked real good. 